A number of Southport residents are opposing a new industrial development proposed for their neighborhood. They voiced their concerns tonight during a town hall meeting at the Southport Community Center. News 13's Alexia Chiropolis joins us live in the studio. Alexia, what kind of project is it and why are these residents against it? Tom, the cement company called SRM wants to build three cement holding cells. The, these storage facilities would be 167 feet tall. And that's the kind of landmark residents say they don't want to see. Hear the beep beeps of the trucks backing up. Heavy equipment noises waking us up at night. We hear the windows rattling. And this is at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. That's just a short list of annoyances from the industrial area beside McKenzie boat ramp along Fanning Bayou. Southport is one of the only areas in Bay County that is zoned also industrial but surrounded by residential communities. Holdings Head Cement LLC out of Nashville owns this land. Their local branch, SRM, plans to build 367 foot tall cement terminals on their property. We're hoping to put a halt to them and it's not that we don't need a cement plant. I'm not saying we don't need a cement plant, but we need it in a different place, not in the residence. Residents took their concerns to Bay County Commissioners in December. Since then, the plans haven't moved very far. The engineer of record re resigned and so the applicant is waiting to go forward with a new engineer of record until that happens. It's at a standstill. But residents are worried about their safety and pollution to the bayous. They want Holdings Head Cement Company to rethink their plans. Once the county receives the development plans, residents can challenge it before it goes to county commissioners. There's not anything we can really do to stop it without being provided information that shows specifically that gives us a, a justified reason to be able to not go forward with it. It's, it's a staff level decision, so it doesn't come to the county commission. Without that appeal, the development order would just go to Bay County staff to approve the design. But for residents to fight against the plans, they would have to appeal and create a strong argument. Alex, did the cement company send a representative to tonight's meeting? Tom, no, there was no one there, and they did not return any of our calls also today to comment on the matter. Okay, we'll continue to follow that. Alexia, thanks. Alexia Chiropolis reporting live in the studios.